How's it going, people? And I got some more of my pal, Old Chubb. And a little more gold to tear through. So let's do this thing. Got nothing better to do. It's finally my Friday. So, a little scripture before bed. And spirits. Chapter 4 of Mormon. <clears throat> Nephites began a war of revenge upon Lamanites. Nephites no longer prevail. Saw that coming. Sacred records taken from the Hill of Shem. One, and now, came to pass. That in the 363rd year, the Nephites did go up with their armies to battle against the Lamanites out of the land desolation. Two, and it came to pass. That the armies of the Nephites were driven back again to the land of desolation. And while they were yet weary, a fresh army of Lamanites did come upon them. And they had a sore battle, insomuch that the Lamanites did take pos possession of the city of desolation. I hope they rename it. And did slay many of the Nephites, and did take many prisoners. Three, and the remainder did flee and join the inhabitants of the city Tiancum. Now the city Tiancum, uh, Tiancum, uh, lay in the borders by the seashore. That narrows it down. And it was also near the city of desolation. All right, now we can triangulate on the map over here and still not know where the fuck that place was. They're trying to be helpful, aren't they? Although I did find something interesting. <laughs> They've got maps. You can freeze frame that. There's more. It's all South American, Peruvian stuff. All right. Four. And it was because the armies of the Nephites went up unto the Lamanites that they began to be smitten. Yeah, we, we get that. We've been following. little recap there. For were it not for that, the Lamanites could have had no power over them. Five. But behold, the judgments of God will overtake the wicked, and it is by the wicked that the wicked are punished. Every time, right? For it is the wicked that stir up the hearts of the children of men unto bloodshed. Six. And it came to pass 
That the Lamanites did make preparations to come against the city Tianco. Seven. And it came to pass. In the 364th year, the Lamanites did come against the city Tianco, that they might take possession of the city of Tianco also. Eight. And it came to pass. that they were repulsed and driven back by the Nephites. And when the Nephites saw that they had driven the Lamanites, they did again boast of their strength. Those idiots! Don't they know that fucks it up? It jinxes them. It hurts the feelings of the big G. And then other people's feelings gotta get hurt even more. Yeah, like permanently. Alright. Yeah, boast of their strength. And they went forth in their own might and took possession again of the city desolation. Nice. And now, all these things had been done, and there had been thousands slain on both sides, both the Nephites and the Lamanites. Ten, and it came to pass, That the three hundred and sixty and sixth year, and this is all spelled now, <laughs> had passed away. And the Lamanites came again upon the Nephites to battle, and yet the Nephites repented not of their evil of the evil they had done but persisted in their wickedness continually. Eleven. And it is impossible for the tongue to describe or for man to write a perfect description of the horrible scene of the blood and carnage which was among the people both of the Nephites and of the Lamanites. And every heart was hardened, so that they delighted in the shedding of blood continually. It's madness. Twelve! <clears throat> oh, God, it's threatening to get caught right there. <sighs> but I'm all right. And there never had been so so great wickedness among all the children of Lehi. <laughs> Lehi. <laughs> Nor even among all the house of Israel. According to the words of the Lord, as was among this people, Thirteen, hang on. Man, this beer, you can almost chew it. <laughs> it's so thick. <laughs> it's tasty. I don't know, the Heineken Dark is awesome. Man, this, this will just kick your butt to Jupiter. <laughs> Bang!
Anyhow. Yeah. Thirteen. And it came to pass. That the Lamanites did take possession of the city desolation. And this because their number did exceed the number of the Nephites. Fourteen. And they did also march forward against the city the Ancombe. And did drive the inhabitants forth out of her. And did take many prisoners, both women and children, and did offer them up as sacrifices upon their idol gods. Idol, as in, you know, statue god. You know, like that big owl at uh, Bohemian Grove. <laughs> All right. Fifteen. And it came to pass. <sighs> that in the three hundred and sixty and seventh year, the Nephites being angry because of the Lamanites had sacrificed their women and their children. Those bastards. And they did go against the Lamanites with exceeding great anger. Oh, yeah. And so much that they did beat again the Lamanites and drive them out of their lands. 16. And the Lamanites did not come again against the Nephites until the 375th year. Moving right along. 17. And in this year they did come down against the Nephites. Like you just said with all their powers, and they were not numbered because of the greatness of their number. They didn't have a number high enough. That was a lot. Eighteen. And from this time forth did the Nephites gain no power over the Lamanites, but began to be swept off by them even as a dew before the sun. Nineteen. And it came to pass oh. that the Lamanites did come down against the city of desolation and there was an exceedingly sore battle fought in the land of uh, desolation, in the which they did beat the Nephites back and forth, back and forth. Twenty! And they fled again from before them, and they came to the city Boaz. And there they did stand against the Lamanites uh, with exceeding boldness. Boldness. Uh, and so much that the Lamanites did not beat them until they had come again the second time. So dramatic. Uh, Twenty-one, and when they had come the second time, that's always good. For us fellows, man, we're always like, that's like a miracle. It can happen, honestly. I read about it in a book somewhere. Alright. Um, 
a second time, <laughs> the Nephites were driven and slaughtered with an exceedingly great slaughter. Their women and their children were again sacrificed to the idols. Oh, that's right. Uh, <laughs> polygamy. Uh, that explains it. <sighs> they had extra wives and children. They got the rest of them. <laughs> I guess, or most of them. Ah, I get it now. Need to have lots and lots. Whole brood of them. Just in case. Yeah. Uh, 22! And it came to pass. Oh. That the Nephites did again flee from before them, taking all the inhabitants with them. Would, wouldn't they be Nephites too? <laughs> Both in the in towns and villages. <laughs> Mass Exodus. Twenty-three. And now I, Mormon, seeing that the Lamanites were about to overthrow the land. Time for a miracle, right? Come on, he can pull one down. Therefore I did go to the hill of Shem and did take up all the records <clears throat> which Amaron had hid up unto the Lord. And that's it for four. Fucking dramatic as hell, wasn't it? Aren't you glad you watched the whole video? Alright, now I'm going to do some more DNC. I'm going to do some DNC. And if I remember right, it's long and a little thirsty. So, it's going to be silly, and you probably don't watch that. Uh, so, if you don't, peace, fuck, out, have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. The rest of you, stay tuned. Bye.